Hey guys, welcome back to another chat with one of our graduates. I like to say graduate because he actually landed a job and is working the job, right? Yes. <laughs> one thing to complete the program, program completion for us is considered, uh, program completion is when you complete the program and now you're ready to get into the market. You should have the, the confidence so you can start the process. But graduation is, here at Road QA is, you got the job. So congratulations. How far, this is Cordon. Am I saying it right? Because you know how I got that. Oh, uh, it's like Cordon, like Cordon. Cordon. Uh -huh. Cordon, like I'm cooking some food or something. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, Cordon. Thank you so much for joining us today. Can you just tell us a little bit um, maybe about your journey with Road to QA? Maybe I'll just start with, first of all, what's your background? How did you mm -hmm. come to Road to QA? Yeah, so my background, so I have a bachelor's of criminal justice. And that actually didn't lead me to anything that I really wanted to do. I always was interested in tech, but I never knew the correct route to go. So from there, um, I actually got hired into MGM Grand Detroit, the casino, to eventually land a role in their surveillance department and go on from there. But that didn't turn out as how I wanted it to because they always had like someone else that had like more experience or like a higher degree. So then I found you and I was able to work through your program. And then also like with Lori, the person that you had suggested to us as well, for me to land a role into what I actually wanted to do. So that's kind of like how I got into QA. Awesome. So, wow. I'm loving that, like, like, you know, like we have a nice amount of students that don't have degrees, but then I'm finding students that also have degrees and maybe mm -hmm. you're pivoting or you're, you're, you're making a change. How, how has that changed for you? Can I ask, how has that changed for you? Like, you know, maybe you, you, you went on that journey, you know, we, we did yeah. you went to school, but then you changed. How does that make you feel that you're like, man, I'm not using what I thought I was going to school for? So I actually don't have a problem with it. I was okay. just actually, as long as I was able to get in something that I felt, even though it was a job, it didn't really feel like a job. Mm -hmm. And since it didn't feel like a job, I was able to just do it all day long and be okay with it. Okay. I don't know. Something's happened with the camera. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I just seen it. It was like green or red. Yeah, it was like flickering. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I got this Cabo internet. I don't know. My oh. <laughs> Awesome. So, um, and just to anyone listening, like, again, whether you have a degree or not, like, we have students on both sides. But I love to see the pivot. I love, you know, mm -hmm. of people making that change and, you know, staying confident in it. So you came into Road to QA. Now you're actually one of our students who didn't even go through the internship. No, you, you didn't even have it open yet. So yeah, I took the right. program and I was, uh, I actually learned everything within 45 days. And then I started applying for jobs literally right after. So I would say I probably landed my role uh, in month three. Yeah. Wow. And so you are essentially like you might have positioned your resume QA. Can I ask that from a QA mm -hmm. perspective? Yeah, but so I did position it off the transferable skills. Awesome. And how did that feel going into the interview? So the interview, since like the tech interviews, I found those are completely different than like a standard interview. So when I seen that it was kind of like you just having like a basic conversation it was easier for me to just list the type of roles I did and the type of things I did complete that were transferable. So they looked at that and then also the information that I was able to learn, I basically applied that within the interview to show this is what I'm capable of doing. Awesome. Now you told me behind the scenes, you actually had two offers. Yeah. So the first one was oh, happening again. The, yeah, uh, I, I guess it's going to go in and out. We'll try to figure I don't know why it's doing it, but we'll keep Oh, going. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the first offer was actually um, for 43 an hour. And then that was at a plant for their technical team. And okay. the other offer where I'm currently at now, uh, it was 50 an hour. So it was, I did receive both at the same time. So it was kind of like I had to choose one or the other. And I just went with the higher paying role, not only because it was paying more, but the type of role that they wanted for the other company was kind of a role to where I would do a little bit more than QA. And I wanted to just be sure I had this down pack beforehand. Gotcha. So you're in this role now. How's it going? You're like 
it's, it's way less stressful because I came from a call center. So it's okay. completely less stressful. Like I may have a few meetings throughout the day and then I'm working. So being able to work remote most of the time and still be able to do my work wherever I go, I do enjoy that. So that's awesome. like a lot that I can say I, I do enjoy. So you have a career pivot and from degree, like, is there a financial, is this a financial increase for you in any way? Yes. Yeah, so my previous job, I was only making $20 an hour. So it's oh, a, wow. a $30 increase. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So we can't wait to see that check. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have babies, Cordon? Can I ask that? Yeah. So I have one daughter. So she actually uh, just turned two uh, oh, Monday. Yeah. yeah, on the 27th. So are you getting to see the baby more now that you're kind of at home or are we still yeah. in daycare like I don't need to look at you all day? Like, yeah, Well, <laughs> yeah, kind of like a mix of both. <laughs> yeah, so I'm able to still, because I know once she sees me, it's kind of like she's all over me. So yeah. I, I want to actually make sure I'm able to still work. So is that because yeah, it's so like the, the difference is it's a little bit of like mix. So she has like a babysitter and then I'm mostly with her too. Awesome. Where do you see yourself going from here? Like, where, do, like, so is Grow to QA like a pivot in for you to, I don't know, go into cybersecurity or some mm -hmm. other, like, what do you see for yourself? Yeah. So with QA, I know it was a stepping stone for me. So what mm -hmm. um, I initially was interested in was cybersecurity based off my criminal background. Mm -hmm. um, but what I plan to do is go into like middleware and then cybersecurity. So then that helps me go like, have those steps ready so when they i do have those interviews i already have experience with those different types of softwares wow so you're saying are we talking about api and you're saying middleware hold on because i'm <laughs> sure i'm not unintelligent like so give me more of that what's what what's yeah so like with middleware it's kind of like the apis you got like um all like the back-end systems but you're not necessarily testing them in a sense it's kind of like your being within the program, making sure it functions properly, but it's kind of not like a QA. It's kind of like a, I guess, a second level to it mm. because you're working on those systems on a deeper level than just testing. And then going into like the cybersecurity aspect of it, I was just going to use those skills to help me pivot into that. Awesome. I love that plan. So let me ask you a question. Before this, in any way, has Road to QA been a, a helpful insight to you to be able to make these type of plans? Yes. Yeah, so at first, before even trying to like study for like QA or just tech in general, I didn't have like a set plan of what I wanted to do. I just always wanted to know, wanted to get into tech itself. Mm -hmm. So with me being able to do QA, because I enjoy QA a lot, so I may just uh either stay here and then eventually pivot but it was a stepping stone for me to like this is how i need to study this is how i need to interview these are the types of ways people are interviewing you and then going from there so robo qa was something that actually helped me be able to move forward with what i wanted to do Awesome, awesome. And so I just got a few more than I, you know, let you go. Thank you so oh, okay. much. So, so what so what was smooth for you? What was smooth for you? Like how did the interview feel? What did it just really come? Was that like your first interview and then you got that one? Or how many interviews did you do? How you know, like because three months, um, like 45 days, and you landed one, like yeah. So actually I would apply for at least 30 to 50 jobs a day. Oh, wow. until it was the point to where if I clicked it, it said you already applied. So when it, oh, oh no, that's me resetting it. It's okay. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. Yeah. And then, um, so my initial, so I had about four or five different companies. Well, no, it's a, it's a little bit more than that, that I interviewed for. And they were looking for individuals that were mostly had automation experience. Mm -hmm. But there is a lot of jobs that are still out there that require manual. So those were the ones that were interviewing me as well. And then that eventually landed me the role between the two jobs that gave me the offer letters. So okay. it was, um, so after I would say me studying, and then I continued to study even after the program. So after the 45 day mark, I would say between 30 to 50 jobs a day, I would apply. And then, um, 
it was at least four to five recruiters that would call me daily. So I knew it was like an interview that would happen sooner or later to where it was something that I would enjoy doing. Awesome. So we got a $30 increase. So you're saying coming from $20 an hour to, so now you're at $50 an hour. So you cross, mm -hmm. is that crossing six figures? Yeah. So I think, yeah. uh, yeah, it's, uh, when I checked it, the annual is uh, 104,000. So how has that life changed for you? Like, what, what do you see? Like, is there something personally that you will, you know, that you could share that, you know, that's going to come with that, you know, that financial, because I know that even though you're just pivoting, but look, once you make six figures, you ain't trying to go back. So yeah, and I exactly. can talk about cybersecurity. So what's, you, know, you kind of told me the career plan, but what is like, mm -hmm. how does this open you up? Like, like, is there something Cordon wants to do? Like, yeah. So what I, cause I like to travel or I want, always wanted to travel. Mm. So having this and then having the ability to work from wherever, that kind of made it to where I'm, I'm almost getting to the part where I live. In, I'm living how I want to live, basically. Love and it. then having the freedom to hang with my daughter whenever I need to, or if I need her to stay home and she's sick, I have that availability now with two. But um, overall, like me, since I haven't received like my first check, like full check yet. Yeah. Um, I know it was going to be like changing, life changing for me. So I'll be able to like pay down debt that I had, but also be able to just do things I never thought I could before, because I never heard before learning about QA and tech in general, I never heard of jobs that make more than 60 to 70,000, unless you were a doctor or a lawyer or anything like that. So me learning about tech and how much they pay and being able to do as much as I can is just an experience that I'm basically just going along with, like riding it. <laughs> right, right. Well, you got a plan. I love that you like, this was a stepping stone for you. It's going to open up more. You learn it on the job, right? Mm -hmm. So you haven't got your officially full check, but you got enough check where you already made your road to QA investment back there, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Off uh, me working three days already made the investment plus sign. <laughs> three days. <laughs> yeah, I, love that... <laughs> I love it. So I'm um two, just two more and I'm done. Uh -huh. um, if that's okay. So, okay. I got your plan. And then ultimately, I wanted to ask you definitely, um, so if I'm not here tomorrow, whatever else, are you satisfied with your journey with Rose and QA? Do you have any feedback for us? I mean, like, God forbid if something, and I'm not saying it is, happened to your mm -hmm. job. Do you feel like you could take road to QA and how also the mindset of we talk about skilling up, like you're talking about going to cybersecurity. Do you feel like you can always keep that check coming in? So you can fund other things. Yes, because like the skill sets that were taught, it's not just the different types of testing platform that you have to learn about. You're also teaching about a little bit of automation. You're teaching teaching about what's current in today's uh, job area, job industry itself. And it's like me being able to know that and learn from that, I can always land like another technical job. And then also just still being able to scale up is just something I know that will happen regardless. Where do you see my last one is where do you see Cordon in the last in the next year? Uh next year I actually want to be in a different state, a warmer state because it's always where are you right now. Uh, I live in Michigan. Michigan. Oh my husband from Michigan. Hey he was like what up <laughs> <now?"> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh I see myself I want to be able to have like, um, so what my other plan is doing investments as well. So not just having the tech money coming in, but also whatever investments I have to have like another stream of income. So even though it is a higher paying job, I want to be able to have those multiple sources. So Absolutely. I would say within the next year, uh, besides like traveling more, I want to be able to have more investments locked in. So this is allowing you to, upgrade your skill set to upgrade your paycheck so you can fund mm -hmm. a better life and fuel your dreams right exactly that's what i love that's what i'm here to. that's what i love <laughs> well do you have any questions for me i mean like if, if it's just outside what it's like you know because we on camera but mm -hmm. i mean do you have any questions for me are we good like you just started now so yeah um not necessarily like everything that was talked about even working with lori like the the stand-ups I've learned about that even on the job. 
learning about like the different softwares, how they train people in tech um, based on what you already should know, based on what they need to teach you. So yeah, I don't think I have anything right now. Yeah. Well, I'll just say thank you, Cordon, for entrusting me with your investment, with your journey. And most importantly, you believe in yourself because, I mean, ultimately mm-hmm. you. And also taking a leap, like you said, you also work with Lori and sometimes we need that extra support or whatever that is. Or if you, did she help you with the resume part or? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Laura, okay. So shout out to Laura. I make sure she's <laughs> on here. So Cardon, again, thank you so much for entrusting us.